This is part 46 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss attribute splatting in Blazor with an example. In the interest of time, I have already created these two standalone components, child component and parent component. Child component is a one-liner. We have an input element here with these two attributes, ID and placeholder. This child component is nested inside this parent component and the path to get to this parent component is slash PC. So if we run this project now, you know what happens. This child component will be rendered by the parent component and within the child component input element, the placeholder text is child component placeholder text. So when we take a look at the browser, that's what we see here. Now here is what we want to do override the placeholder text within this input element and we want to do that from the parent component. So let's copy this placeholder attribute and place it on the child component that is nested within our parent component. Invalid operation exception object of type child component does not have a property matching the name placeholder and this makes sense because for the parent component to be able to set the placeholder text of this input element in the child component, the child component must have a corresponding placeholder property. The property name is placeholder. Now, in the HTML, instead of hard coding the value for this placeholder attribute, let's bind to the property. And notice, it is decorated with the parameter attribute. This allows our parent component to be able to pass data to the child component. And we'll discuss this in detail in part 27 of this video series. Now, within our parent component, let's change the text here to parent component placeholder text, save all of our changes and take a look at the browser. There we go. We see parent component placeholder as expected. At the moment, we are setting just one attribute on the input element placeholder. But what if we have many attributes, maybe something like the following. In this example, we have four attributes required max length, size and placeholder. We also have the corresponding parameters with default values. Our parent component can now use these parameters and pass values to the respective attributes on this input element. There we go. We see the input element again with the parent component placeholder text and if we inspect this element, all the values specified by the parent component are applied. At the moment, within our example, we are not using attribute splatting. For every attribute that we want to set dynamically, we are creating a corresponding property, decorating it with the parameter attribute and then binding the HTML attribute with the respective property. Again. In the parent component, for every parameter that we have in the child component here, we pass a value using the corresponding parameter. This is very tedious, especially when we have to set large number of attributes. Instead, we can use attribute splatting. With attribute splatting, we don't need all these properties. We just need one property of type dictionary. The key of the dictionary is of type string and the value is object. The keys, as you can see, are the attributes that we want to set, like required, placeholder, etc. So we use this dictionary to capture the attributes. We can then splat these attributes onto this HTML element using at attributes razor directive. So we don't need these individual attributes here. Instead, we just use at attributes and the value for this is this property. At the moment, in the child component, for these attributes, we have specified some default values. So this means if parent component does not pass values for these attributes, these default values specified in this child component will be used. Now from the parent component, if we want to pass values for these attributes, we create a dictionary like this. So in the parent component, let's first create the dictionary. I named it attributes from parent. Now. On this child component, there is no need to use these individual parameters. In fact, if we use them now, we'll get an error because within the child component, we don't have those parameters anymore. We just have this one parameter input attributes. So let's use this on the child component and the value for this is this dictionary. We have the same behavior. The input element is rendered with the parent component placeholder and the generated HTML is also the same as before. At this point, you might be wondering, can a component have both attributes splatting and explicitly declared parameters? Well, yes, it can. 
a component can have both attribute splatting and explicitly declared parameters. In general, attribute splatting is used to capture and render additional attributes in addition to the explicitly declared components parameters. At the moment, in our example, we are using just attribute splatting, but there is nothing stopping us from including an explicitly declared parameter. Name is value and the default value for this parameter is child value. So let's bind this parameter to the value attribute of the input element. Since we are not explicitly passing a value from the parent component, the child component default value, child value is used. If we want, we can now use this value parameter and pass a value from the parent component. So in addition to attribute splatting, we are passing a value to the child component using this explicitly declared parameter value. There we go. We see the value from the parent component as expected. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening. Thank you.